Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting. So, <laughs> you know, everything that you see is not responding, but I just went blank. Somebody just turned around in my driveway. That never, ever happened. Out of all the driveways, why I turned around in my, and then the Amazon Prime truck just pulled right up. So, what I was just saying is, it's like, it, that, to me, that was an omen. It's a confirmation of exactly what I'm saying. There's an energy that's going to, it's it's like it's coming in, but as quickly as it comes in, it has to be t sent away. You have to send it away. For some of you, this isn't a person or anything. It's a it's a memory or it, it's a, a way of thinking. It's a behavior. As soon as this happens, what you need to do is like this temperance energy. You need to quickly transmute it and send it away. Because you know how people say, um, if you... It's like a bus. You miss one and another one comes up, comes in. There's an opportunity. It could be an argument, a disagreement, um, a breakup, separation, whatever. As soon as this ending happens, you got to get right back on the ball. There's no time to waste. That literally just happened right outside of my window. And, and look, and right now the mailman is pulling up. Uh, the, the mail truck is backing into my driveway. I have a package. The mail truck, y'all, this is, I'm telling you, this is a serious thing. <laughs> this is tripping me out right now. That is three different vehicles that just came. All this activity right now at my, like literally, a car just pulled into my driveway, pulled out. Amazon just came. The mail, the mail truck is back into my driveway right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Well, I know I have packages. But see, that's what I'm saying. You see how that, like I was just about to say, look, the Six of Cups is here and the Seven of Wands. Look, pentacles, packages, something being delivered, something that you want. A package, you know, if it's Amazon, whatever, you ordered that, you wanted it. You paid your money for it, you receive something, okay, that you want. But there is something that's going to come in that you have to block or you have some type of protection that when it comes in, it's automatically going to be blocked. You it, Something here, if, if you tell the divine, hey, I don't want that anymore, that's all you have to speak. It, it, can't, it can't come in to your dwelling, your energetic space, your auric field. It, it's going to be just turned away. And what do we have? Right, you transmute this right now and it's over. That's it. It's over. Because you're, you're going to have to have the strength for some of you to shine your light in a dark place. To go within. Or to share what you learned from going within. It's your time now. The will. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you're about to receive something big. But you, there's something here is being blocked out. This is a lot of protection, to be honest. Yep. Look at that, the Page of Swords. <laughs> five of Swords, Five of Conflict. See, this, this is some kind of spiritual attack. It's gonna, it's going to, it, it was sent out, but it's gonna be returned so fast. Look at that, King of Swords. You have protection when it comes to some kind of magic or manipulation. But somebody here is watching you. Five of swords, five of wands. It's an energy that wants to bring some conflict to you. Seriously. And that goes hand in hand with this three of swords, seven of swords. So this is something that somebody has most likely done before to you. Or it's an energy. It has gotten you caught up before. And, and it kept you kind of stuck in the matrix, unable to move forward. This time, your sword is up. You're like, no, 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 no. Because you've already... With through an initiation, you become this earth angel fully. Okay, you're protected. You have angels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides. You're you're fully protected. You're locked in. So whatever this drama is that comes your way, for some of you, this is a ritual. 
or something that's being done, this is that leap for energy. It's not gonna work. You're so, you're you're way too protected. Nope, it's not. You look the magician, the lovers, the eight of pentacles. You have the empress. You have the hierophant. You have the ten of swords. You have the two of cups. So here's the four of wands and the justice. For some of you, the truth is. And I do feel like this is a, a ritual of some sort. Um, you guys know these different secret societies and satanic cults and whatever. As, as, as Halloween, as we approach, you know, Halloween and all of that, this entire month, you have people who are doing a lot of very, very wicked, wicked things. Okay. This is a, a month full of magic, October and November. This is some kind of ritual. It's a hex, a jinx, a curse or something that some of you, it has been over you for a long time. Somebody has definitely been doing something to cause you to miss opportunities for sure when it comes to a partnership. And I feel like this is romantic with the lovers and the two of cups. For some of you, it's like a person is trying to come in towards you. Every time they try to come towards you, this energy, it blocks them. And it could be a past energy. It doesn't matter if it's past, present, future. It's energy. Energy is fluid. There's an energy that is, is hitting something or someone in your life with resistance to make sure that you hit rock bottom and that something can move forward. And it has a lot to do with your, your higher self, your, your calling, the calling that's upon your life, your foundation, your security, and a partnership. This King of Swords, though, is here saying, not this time. For some of you, this is another person that has been trying to connect with you energetically. Could be your counterpart. This person has constantly been knocked down by an energy, ego, or whatever the case is, not this time. Somebody has finally grown and ascended to a point where whatever the bad juju is, the hex, the jinx, the curse, or whatever that's been sent out, it's not working this time. So somebody will, will successfully receive their good karma. And this has your enemies shaking in their boots. Like they don't know what to do because they're like, wait, it worked the last. Look what I say. I just what I just say. Your enemies are shaking. What you get? Nine of swords. These people are like, wait a minute, what? It didn't work. We didn't cause a separation. We didn't break them up. This person isn't going to. No, it's not working. Five of Cups. You're going to be celebrating. If if you catch this reading, I'm gonna I, I posted a reading just a few hours ago. I'm gonna post this as soon as I upload it. It's early in the afternoon right now. I don't know what time it is right now. But um somebody needs to see this now. Even today, this Saturday, if you are feeling down at all, or whenever you hear this message, you need to quickly get yourself up because I feel like it's something being said. That is to lower your vibration to get you down and out so that there's an attack or something that can get you stuck today. You need to be in your highest vibration. I think when I get done with this reading and get those packages, I'm, yeah, go out, do something. I mean, go walk in the grass, do, just do something. Do something that's going to make you happy. But you do not need to be in any type of energy where the enemy can attack you right now, it feels to me, you need to be careful of your own idle mind because it's something that is being sent to you to try to trip you up and confuse you because right now, somebody knows for a sure fact that you're about to celebrate. Three of cups, six of wands, somebody knows it. That's the truth. Da -da -da -da. The trumpet has gone. Somebody knows. And you know how most likely a person knows that you're moving forward because they're not? Look, the chariot, the six of swords, somebody knows. 
Oh, no, we didn't get that one. If somebody was up last night doing a ritual or they're doing a ritual this weekend, they're like, yeah, we know. They know. They didn't get this divine feminine or, or masculine that I'm reading for right now. They already know it. You, you, you're already off, set to go on the peaceful calm waters. So whatever they, whatever work was done to block you, mm -mm, it didn't. Somebody is out. Somebody is being eclipsed out of your energy forever for good. And look, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. Wish fulfillment, happiness. And the nine of pentacles usually is somebody who is very much self-sufficient and abundant. But it, you, it can speak for sure of a person who can be single too. Some of you now, you're going to be sick. You're going to be completely free. You may be single. You're going to be align now to go out and meet your your real person but whatever has been attached to your energy i have another reading um it's like this malignant narcissistic person whoever has been feeding off of you they're being eclipsed out and let me tell you how a narcissist will do a narcissist will will, will lie and wait to catch you in a vulnerable moment to strike and attack. And that's what is happening with this page of swords. Somebody is kind of waiting, like, oh, they're they're doing something. It's a temperature check happening. Is that person, are they feeling down? Are they feeling depressed today? Are they sad? Are they lonely? They're, they could be doing sending an energy towards you to get you on a low vibing energy. That's all it takes. See, some people think spell work is someone, it's not it's energy. So if you're in a low vibing energy, you're wrestling with your own flesh or your shadow, it's easy for somebody to send an attack. When they send that attack, if you're in this high vibing energy though, boom, just like that car, it comes and it has to go right back out of here. That car pulled in my driveway, it pulled right back out in two different cars, in, in an Amazon truck and a mailman pulled up at the same time. One in front of my house and a mailman back into my driveway. It's an omen for somebody. As soon as you send something back, boom, everything that you need, it comes in. The things that you paid for and you manifested will come in. It'll be dropped off at your front door. But you got to get something out. Some of you, you need to do some kind of cleansing. High priestess. Yep. You know something. For some of you, this has to do with two different masculine energies, possibly. And a masculine, this is two kings. It could be a man or a woman who are, some of you, though, you have more than one person that's in your energy that's been feeding off of you. There, somebody is secretly hiding in your energy. As soon as you get that person out, the real deal can show up. Absolutely. Look, eight of wands, it's forward movement. The fool is something brand new. You have to take a leap of faith, though. Nine of Wands. Somebody's resilience is paying out. And then here is the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. Somebody who's masculine is ready to come in and offer love. But you, you're really going to have to make space for this person. Strike while it's hot. Like the Page of Wands. Because, yeah, the star is here. I can't show this card. It's a big card and the person is new. But... This is wish fulfillment. It's everything you want. All you have to do is get this person out your energy. So right now, you need to call back all of your energy because somebody is somebody is doing a, a temperature check and they're trying to siphon your energy or throw you off or project some kind of negativity towards you. And this is I feel like this is happening. Let's see. Tell me about this. Uh, yeah. You're in your purpose. It says someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission and plays no games. They have they, the facts. I feel like this is you. And for some of you, you if you are looking at this and you feel like this is related to a love situation, whoever your person is, they know that you are a part of their purpose. But let me say this here. When you meet a counterpart, soulmate, twin flame, whatever, you and that person, you still have your individual journeys and life missions. But a part of it is you coming together. Your counterpart, for some of you, they still, they can't pay your karmic debts for you. 
If part of your karmic debt, what you had to do was to completely purge a narcissist out of your energy, they can't do that for you. So some of you, you're like, oh, the, the person could even be in your life. Things are still not progressing. Have you yourself cut the cord from that past person? Or have they done that work? I mean, like, literally spoke it. Somebody out here is afraid to say goodbye or hello. Some, it's, it's something that a person is afraid to do or say. And, and this comes up all the time, but I'm seeing like a little mermaid. When, when she had lost her voice and everything, in order for the spell to be broken, he, would, he had to kiss her without her beautiful voice. Some of you are going to have to um, move forward with something and you may not have all the facts or the bells and whistles. This really is a test of your faith right now. I may have to post that other reading. I'm telling you, it, it was so much stuff in that reading. But I remember in the reading, I kept saying blind faith. It's, do you know what's happening? And this, I'm, I'm picking up a lot of energy around love and these divine connections. Somebody's gonna, you're, somebody's gonna have to say that they love somebody, or that you know they're ready, or somebody's gonna have to leave a person or divorce. It's a, it's a big step that somebody needs to take. But it feels like some, you know what? It, it feels like somebody is. There, I'm, I'm picking up on a person who is afraid of a, an ending and somebody who is afraid of a beginning being permanent. Somebody is afraid to say, we, we need to file for divorce or this is over. Or somebody is afraid to tell a family member or friend, we, we can't be friends anymore. I'm not coming around anymore. But then at the flip, on the flip side, somebody is also afraid to say, hey, I love you. I want to see where this goes. It's like somebody's just stuck. But this always happens with like Eclipse energy. You have to make a decision. It's like today, the decision has to be made. And again, some of the, the people who won't make the decision, it's going to be made for you. Mental prison, I told you. Somebody is trapped in their own head, dealing with a lot of self-limiting beliefs. Somebody here is so scared of love or losing a person. You have here deranged, weird, strange, and twisted individual, toxic ways. Wow. Somebody here with bad habits, addictions, who can't stay away from harmful substances. Ooh, this is not a good energy. Who's hooked? Somebody here may really be dealing with like addictions. This has addictions all over it. Somebody trying to copy your style who has a hidden agenda. They're always partying, always playing games, drinking. Somebody here is always under the influence of something. And this person has tried to be like you. They haven't been able to be like you. They, they haven't had success at that. But this person has been able to, I feel, delay you in some kind of way. Or your person. You have your first house. Oh, my gosh. Look, what did I just say? You or your person. Divine union. This says first house. It says one sense of identity. How they express themselves. Their impressions. I'm sorry. The first impressions that they give off. This is, I'm telling you, this, this right here. Some, some people are dealing with um, a, a real narcissist. Somebody here is very weird and toxic. And they are very much addicted to your energy and trying to be just like you. This person, they are not who you think they are at all. Somebody here is living a double life. They're always playing games or partying or something. And they're always under the influence. For some of you, this is a hidden enemy. For some, it's even a stranger. You may not know this person personally. But this person is behind the scenes, like, doing 
all kinds of stuff to try and destroy your divine union. No limits. And it's a distorted masculine, y'all, who is salty. This person is doing everything and they could live at a distance from you. Spirituality hater. This person didn't want to go on this spiritual journey. But this is the kind of person who tries to finesse you. To make you think that they are, they're happy, they're confident. For some of you, this is, this person tries to pretend that they're woke. Yeah, and they hate your confidence and the fact that you walked away when you realized that they were a narcissist and this was a one-sided situation. Whoever, the, this is the person, look, 10th house, ex-lover. It's an ex-lover who is a distorted masculine. 10th house, you have first house, 10th house, 12th house. It says this situation involves someone's ambition, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, accolades, and social class. This person watches you. They see you are, are a role model, but this person, this is this 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 feels like a man who wishes they could be like a a, a woman, but this is just the eclipsing of distorted feminines and masculines. This could be a man or woman. You have distorted, uh, distorted feminine. Some of you, you have a friend, an ex-friend who is really fake and an ex-lover. These people feel ignored by you. So right now, it just feels like a lot of you right now who are, are standing in your power, your light is shining so bright that any person connected to you who is very narcissistic, who has been feeding off of your energy, trying to be like you. Um, presenting themselves in a way that is false because either they, they're they trying to get close to you, to mooch off of you or whatever the case may be. These people, because you've ignored them, they're upset. You have your, it's at the eighth house. This situation involves death and rebirth, someone's attitudes towards change, personal growth. So somebody here who has been living off of your energy, feeding off of you, like I said, a malignant narcissist, this parasite, without you, they can't survive. And then all of the readings that I've been doing, that's what's been, it's like you block somebody, or you've cut a cord or you need to. And I'm readings for months now, I've been saying, you are somebody's life support. If they can't watch you, listen to you, hear you, see you, copy off of you, they have nothing. For some of you, um, somebody has been stealing something from you. Okay? If they can't steal something from you, they, they can't survive. Literally. Financially, energetically. You're like a, a power source for something or someone. Without you, it collapses. No money, no talk. Stressed. Divorce. This involves someone's partnerships. Nosy. Betrayal. You're in your purpose and somebody is intimidated. But Spirit say you need to keep shining. Somebody has for sure been trying to pretend to be your best friend. You definitely, bestie and fake friend, as I hear it says, bestie, one who is always by your side, who never ditches you, and who will take a bullet for you. See, now you're in your purpose, and you could have a real friend in your corner. But these fake friends, oh, these people are upset because divorce is here. You severed ties. You left these situations behind because they stressed you out. You realize that you couldn't manifest being in these situations. And these are people that you had partnerships with. Business partnerships and romantic. The seventh house has a lot to do with partnerships and marriage. So somebody betrayed you. You walked away, but this person, like they, they won't stop watching you. 
They're all up in your business. They want to know all the details of your life. And somebody now, because whatever they're doing, if this is magic or something, they can't do it anymore. Look, because off the grid, you're off the grid, you're chilling. You're focusing on self-love. And you can have a, a relationship that's, that's becoming more. You have your bestie and they are more than friends. Some of you are, it's like you're, you're connecting with a soulmate, a, a counterpart, twin flame. It's something that's going to grow because it's a part of your purpose. Somebody, though, is so mad. This is, y'all, this is a, a real, like, demonic energy that has been attached to you. And it's, it has been attacking you. But I always say, if you have a wound that has not closed... That is always the entry, the access point for your enemy. Did I say if you have an enemy that hasn't closed or did I say wound? I be talking so fast sometimes. So much stuff be coming out in my head. I, I can't even really say all of it because it comes at me so fast. But y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Somebody is getting caught up for their actions. Look at that. Hating on your successful life choices and block sacral chakra. So somebody has been trying for sure to block your emotions. They don't like the fact that you're you're free. And you have the motivation now to go after things in your life that bring you great passion and pleasure because somebody is obsessed with power and control. Now Pluto just went direct a few days ago as well and Pluto deals with power and pleasure. And it has a lot to do with Scorpio. We're going into Scorpio season very soon. Whoever is doing this, trying to block your sacral chakra or whatever, um, either you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart or it's highly aspected or this is a Scorpio. But Scorpio, we know, is very, very mysterious. And, and a, a Scorpio is, is somebody who will investigate things. Scorpio energy can be quite obsessive. When they want to find out certain things. But you have people who are dark and those who are of light. Somebody here, you know what? If somebody may have Scorpio in their first, 12th, 10th, 8th, and 7th house. Or like I said, somebody has Scorpio all throughout their chart. I'm picking up Scorpio because of like this Pluto energy. But for some of you, this is several different situations in your life. This has to do with karma for sure. Something about your identity, 12th house, your unconscious mind and karma, 10th house, your achievements and accolades, 8th house, death and rebirth, 7th house, partnerships and marriage, and then now you have the 9th house. Someone's belief systems and religion, higher learning. This is something from the past life too. Where somebody was determined, this lifetime, they wanted to block everything. This is a very sick, twisted, deranged person that's been doing this. And I mean, they're, they're completely obsessed. And this person could be addicted to something too because there's several cards out here speaking of a person overindulging in some type of substances. This is somebody who hates your life choices though. They feel like you're, you're too successful. And this is somebody who feels like you should give your power to them. Or they've been using your energy for their own power. So this is somebody who, because of your sacral chakra energy, um, somebody here has been pretty much trying to walk and act as if they are you. Wow. Causing you dizzy spells, blurred vision, a loss of hearing. You have a family generational curse. It says, always going against you by arguing their point, never considered of your point of view. Possess a talisman to amplify positive vibes. Remember I said you got you need to make sure that you're, you're being very positive at this time. Get out, get fresh air, ground yourself. Get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. Yes, yeah, so whoever this is, too, th this feels like because of how much is coming out in this reading with the houses, like uh, astrologically, this could be like a priest, 
a dark priest, priestess, a practitioner, because whoever this person is, they are very much well, well versed, well studied when it comes to the occult. This person has known exactly what to attack in your life. This is not a rookie. So let me say, because before some of you go out there thinking, it's this person, this person, this person. This is somebody here who may actually usually be off the grid. It's a real hermit. Virgo could be significant. This person is like an astrologer or something. Very, very, um, very spiritual and, and, and advanced at that. The person causing you negativity is an air sign. Jupiter retrograde. Problems with making important life changes for future benefits, expansion, abundance, prosperity. Remember that three of wands, it will not leave. That three, the three of wands is about manifestation, expansion. And remember I said how even in the reading, I didn't post it because of all of the confusion. Somebody wants you completely confused about how to expand your life. So they're trying to make you paranoid and live in fear. That's what I'm saying. If you feel like, oh, I don't want to go out or I don't want to do this, do that, go. A tiger's eye crystal may help you. It helps with grounding, protection, confidence, inner strength, willpower, and clarity. A feminine hater. So this is somebody here who is a spirituality hater and a feminine hater. And that's why they're constantly attacking your sacral chakra. They want to take... Oh, my goodness. This could be <laughs> blocked root chakra, perform a cord cutting ritual, and you may want to work with lavender sage. Clears away negative thoughts, energies, harmonizes the mind, enhances intuition, and inspires loving feelings. So you may want to work with tiger's eye, lavender, Baby, I'm sorry, but this feels like, for some, this is like a friend, a family member, definitely possibly like a, a past lover who has like offered somebody up to, to the devil, a demon, because they are so upset about your life choices. You choosing to go through your own rebirth and have... An opportunity to to have um, improvements in your overall social class because you're you know being aligned for for wealth, marriage, or whatever. Somebody is like, oh heck no! Like they, this is wow. Somebody's doing everything. They want you to lose an opportunity, and they're turning other people against you. They're stalking you on social media. You may want to work with an amethyst. You have amethyst smoky quartz. Wow, your ex is playing on the downfall of your new love interest and root work is here. So, like I said, this is a practitioner for some. Venus retrograde, dealing with insecurities, appearance, body images, worthiness, relationships, and sexuality. This is somebody who is very intimate. Remember I said, too, it's like a man out here who hates a woman. This could be a group of men, too. They hate like a divine feminine energy, but they're using the divine feminine energy for growth and to manifest. But these are people who, oh wow, my goodness. I'm seeing now, and it's something about the weekend. Y'all, I feel like this is a group of people who go to different rituals and with all of this um, cloud nine stuff. Hold on. You have her deranged, mental prison, deranged. I'm getting something so clear now. These are people who are astral traveling or projecting. They're doing a bunch of weird stuff. I don't know if these people are, are smoking something, um, taking some type of herb. This is, this is like some type of group ritual. These people, they come together, they party. They're all taking some kind of... 
I, I don't know. What you call, what do you call it? Like psychedelic or something? These, these people are going on mind trips or something and, and astral traveling and projecting to try to control a person. And this may be a group of men who are using divine feminine energy to siphon it, harvest it, and to build wealth or, or whatever they're doing. Somebody is trying to steal the energy, the essence, maybe even the DNA of, of divine feminists. That's what they're doing. This is like a, a whole cult or clan of people that's doing this. Hell, this could be like a whole laboratory of scientists somewhere that's doing it. This, this, whatever this is, it's big, but it's about to be shut down. Because somebody, these people, they, they, it's like they're trying to have you in a state of confusion, like you're in a mental prison like you just feel trapped so somebody could be trying to send an attack to you to make you act completely out of character so that you will do something crazy some of you need to make sure that you're not drinking smoking or, or doing like dealing with any kind of substances you you need to really purify yourself because it, it almost feels like there's an energy being sent to you that if you do anything that's kind of like not the straight and narrow, it's going to send you off your rocker quickly. Or that's what's happening to these people. These people are going to drink or smoke something or take some kind of pill substance or whatever. These people are partying. Like, this is a, a ritual. This is a, a, a secret society. It's a whole group. These are occultists that are doing this. Well, all the this uh, astrological stuff out here and root work, this is not this is like a ritual, y'all. This is magic. You don't see this come out in a in a in a, a regular reading. You got crystals, it's everything I hear about astrology, partying, drugs, like this is dark. Very dark. What they're what they're doing is dark. It's a group of occultists. This is a ritual that's happening. And you can go online and look at the satanic, um, what do you call it, calendar. I believe that like the the thirteenth. But yesterday was Friday the thirteenth. This was some. This is some kind of weekend ritual that's going on right now. It is. I'm just looking into this, y'all. I'm sorry. And I feel like this is what they're doing, but these people, they're trying to, to um, play with a person's mind. They, they could be sent, and, and it's something that you probably can't see, touch, feel, especially if, you, if you're not a seer. It, it's, maybe they're using frequencies. A few weeks ago, what was we had some kind of national testing or something? These people are using some kind of frequencies or something to send out an energy. Only the survival of the fittest, you know. But there, it's like, yeah. Y'all, this is crazy. You can beat this, though. But see, you, you have to know. What they do is they, they send this stuff out and and they whoever it is you know these different secret societies and, and other stuff y'all that they have all kinds of stuff they're doing behind the scenes they're sending these energies and frequencies out though and if you're not a high vibing person it's definitely going to affect you and make you do something very crazy and oh wow and it's interesting because I was just um, looking on um, the Netflix thing popped up on the TV. And I think one of the top 10 movies or something was the movie Get Out. This is their energy. It's like you need to get out. There's some, this feels like some kind of programming. 
And I feel like it's happening on a mass level. Like, it's some kind of energy or frequency or something that's being sent out. And if they can, y'all, this is crazy. Because I'm I'm getting um, what are those what are the things called? And it's certain words I'm I don't want to say because it'll get the the video like restricted or banned or whatever, and you won't hear it. But what is it called? Like concentration camps? I'm getting something like that right now. Like I'm telling you, I'm I'm this is. This is this is some kind of experiment happening. And if they can send all these frequencies and stuff out, or whoever these people are, these occultists can do this. If you fall victim to it, then you know it's just they get what they want, and a lot of these people have been demonstrating. These behaviors where they seem deranged, but this was this was um premeditated. I feel like what's about to be discovered, there's an operation where there's like secret societies of people, they've been driving people insane or driving people to become very toxic to self-destruct for the sake of sacrifices. And, and they could be doing this to many of you who are even watching this right now. And they're trying to figure out why is it not taking you out? Why is this not working on you? Yeah. That's what this is. Because whatever this system, this operation is, it works. This is really sad. Because I feel like a lot of people have lost their life, given up on life because they've been under the influence of whatever this is, of what these, these occultists are doing. This is magic, and it's um, metaphysics and energy. This is energy manipulation. And, and with the spells, the rituals, and everything else, like I said, they're driving people in to a place of pure insanity. And, and I talked about this a few, it looks like people are just, you know, going crazy. But, you know, you think about it. It's even like the stuff we know, the global pandemic. You look at how suicide rates and everything increased. This is a prediction. It's something else coming. These things are being sent out for control. And you, you, you can figure out what, what kind of control I'm talking about, but to get rid of certain things, people, whatever. This is this is energy manipulated. This this has to be shut down though, because what's happening is it's too many people who are being wiped out and driven to a, a place of insanity, who actually have a purpose. Too many people are not able to live out their purpose because. What this truly is, I mean, it's, it's, um, people are being spiritually assassinated. These are spiritual serial killers and assassins. And they have a proven system that works. That allows them to have power and control. And a lot of you are being affected by this. But they're trying to think. Why is it bouncing off of you? But in, a, on a, in, a, in another way though. It almost feels like. And you have. Because this feels like. An, like they're experimenting to find out who is who. Like. Okay, if it's not affecting you, then that must mean that you're chosen, which uh, does what? It makes you even more of a target. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. 
Because it's like the survival. They're trying to figure out who is the, the, the strongest. There has to be something in your genes and your bloodline, your lineage, your ancestry that's allowing you to fight against the stuff that they're sending out. So yeah, it's a, it, it, these, these are targeted individuals. But for them to go undetected, they're using metaphysics, energy, spells, rituals, magic. Wow. Yeah, this is a whole group of occultists. With, it's a secret operation. I don't feel like it's going to be secret for that much longer. It's not even so much of this. Um... Sings that song. Come on, y'all. I'm trying not to say certain stuff because there's a name that surely comes to mind right now. Somebody, um, all into technology. Uh huh. Brain chips. Brain chip test and paralysis patients. Yeah. Child, this is a whole human study being done. I'm <laughs> and you know, it's interesting because I don't know if any of you guys saw the movie The Creator. But I feel like, you know, I believe in that movie, it was talking about something in like 2060 something. Where like robots and humans will be living together, but these robots and everything, they are like humans. And the creator, the mother, um, that divine feminine, you have these different beings here who are like, they're like hybrid beings. But see, just like in that movie, and I, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but people who have a certain type of mind that is almost like engineered, but they also have um, the human intelligence and, and emotions. That, that's a real force. Because, see, the problem, a lot of rob robots, of course, you know, just a little bit of stuff, you know, we've seen in movies. They don't have emotions. So they, they can only function from a, a, a point of logic. But when you find a person that's like a, a mastermind, they're, they're very smart but they're also very intuitive. That's the reason why, okay, certain people are being targeted. Going back to that temperance energy as well, that out, that balance of yin and yang, that's also the reason why a lot of twin flames are being targeted. Because see, if you meet that other half, so let's say if you are very logical, not a very emotional person, if you meet that person, who gives you, who allows you to have that full integration, the two of you, what you unlock together in the world, is a threat. In that movie, the create the creator, <laughs> the secret operation. was destroyed. And, and, and I'm not, but the creator, there was a creator, but it was this, the, the child. 
I have a reading. One of my readings has uh, probably over 200,000 views. Or it may... I have a reading that has over 400,000 views. But I talked about these people who come together to have these children that are going to grow up to be very, very special. Some of you are a part of that group. I, we can say the 144. You're a huge threat. You don't want to hurt anybody, but you're a threat because you're going to stop so much of the, the evil that's happening in the world. So yeah, you're on a targeted list. You're on a list of as a as a, a, a person of uh, you're you're the target. I mean, they feel like you're a walking talking weapon. But you can see the, the selfishness and the greed because what these groups or labs or whomever, what they, they want to extract the things that make you great, that make you powerful to use for something bad. So that's where all the sacrifice, it's like, well, they want to... Um, They want to extract something. What is gene mutation? That's what I just heard. So they want um to copy, clone. What is that? Copy your style. Copy and clone. Hidden agenda. They want to study humans, the really, really powerful ones, those who are chosen, so that they can create something that, that they want. This is wild. Mental prisoning. Prison. They want that. Like they're willing to put people in prison, concentration camp. Like the T system. And remember, I said earlier, institutionalized. But really, what if I told you that the world you've been living in was the Matrix, and you simply frame your mind? It's an ascension. People have been trying to make you be like other people. So people in society, they're paying attention to those who are choosing to march to the beat of their own drum. And then because you're surviving, especially like the divine feminine, because divine feminine is for the women, the womb. That's the intuition, the high priestess energy. The sacred wisdom and knowledge is carried by the divine feminine. That's why it's such an attack on divine feminine, especially women. And only a woman can have like that Eve gene. This feels like seriously. It's like a human study. This reading totally took a turn, but that's what it is. I feel like some of you, you're just trying to live in your life like, you know, eating your vegetables, drinking your water, minding your business. And I don't know if you know it, but literally it's somebody wants your, your, your brain, your DNA. And if they can drive you crazy to do a bunch of toxic stuff, And then have you under the influence, feeding you pills or whatever they're doing, taking medication. You, we, we see that everybody getting boosted up, right? They're setting the tone for whatever is to come next. So the people who... The people who are not 
under this influence are targeted because th these these people in these secret societies, laboratories, what they're trying to figure out how are you surviving? What is it about you? Why aren't you crazy and deranged? You know how many people became millionaires during the, you know, the, the, the pandemic? Breaking away from societal norms. Those individuals are being watched. They're like, well, how, how did you get the power to do that? And all of these narcissists who are in control, greedy and impact, they're like, no. Why aren't you going along with the plan? And I feel like the plan changed. At first it was they were mad. Then they was like, well, if we could get whatever you have, we could make an even better version of you. Or in fact, we could become you, right? Causing unexplained body pain and numbness. What I say, who do they want to recruit and do these clinical trials on? Patients who are suffering from paralysis. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Main female community. You have a whole community, scientists, occultists, or ever. It's these women who have a certain gene, genetic makeup, DNA. They want it. I have a reading about this family room. What is like ancestry, lineage? They want it. And for some of you, you are twin flames. Some of you have to be careful because I'm telling. They, they, they want, it's hard to tell if they want you to procreate or not. For some of you, they, they I don't know what they're trying to get people to do. Official person, thief, I, ooh, we I was about to say it. Some of you, they want you to have a child for them to steal it. Look, official person, thief, and child. That's the plan. Go have a child. Get the twin flames to have kids or whatever, but let's steal it. Or they're saying, don't let these twin flames have kids because the kids are going to come and steal or take over these people who are currently official. That's all this fear is coming from the people who are in the background doing all of this. The reading last night I did, it was, it was, it was so crazy, but it was definitely about twin flames. Breaking these curses, high honor. Look at that high honor. What did I say? Twin flames, high honor. Lovers. Yeah, they want to put an end to this. These twin flames are supposed to come out here and have these children who are like superhumans. They're like, oh, no, no, no. We can't have that. They're trying to, it's, they're trying to control. They don't want to see you, you shine, but your spirit team said, don't worry about it. Yep. Your family, you're supposed to have abundance. So they're doing Rituals to trap you, especially if you are a twin flame. This has something to do with the DNA, the genes. They are very afraid of the power of, I'm just, I guess, these kids or something. Look at this. 
friendship, true love, awakening, put away the computer, this computer, the, these people in these labs or whatever, they have to get out of your business and connections because children are important to this connection. These children are going to have spiritual, they're going to be born with spiritual lessons and knowledge. But you will only, get, they can only be born once you're married to your counterpart. So they create the time apart, the separations with obstacles, challenges, finances, all of this so that you won't take a leap of faith. All of this stuff is being engineered. It, it's being conjured up. This is scientists and occultists, both. And then obviously, it has to be something happening in the spiritual realm where literally there is a, there has been an attack specifically on twin flames who are supposed to have children together. They do not want these supernatural, superhuman children out here. They don't want it. The children are what? The future. These people want to go somehow take good genes of chosen ones to make them, to demonize them. These little angels that supposedly walk on, they don't want that. Look at that. Little angel wings. They're like, no, no, no. We, they, they, this world is so dark. They want to keep all of the light away. I'm going to pull from this angel deck and then I'm going to be done. Look at this cut in the deck. The moon and the ten of cups. Gabriel. Divine revelation reveals messages has the power to destroy. Yep. People who can tap into this energy, can read it, can see it, you're a target. Because your truth will destroy all of the illusions. Ten of Cups. It says, divine warrior confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. Wow. And underneath that is the devil. And the three of pentacles. What I say? These are demonic groups. Occultists, scientists, higher ups, they're all in on this. But you have the star, the temperance, and the lovers. Ooh, the fool. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's, it's the lovers, the temperance, and the star. These twin flames are, are about to rise up and destroy some stuff. And that's what they are afraid of. It's the power. The star, the temperance, the lovers. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. That's the eclipse energy. Temperance, reconciliation, regains the favor of those who one has offended. The star protects against attacks in the courts. Yeah. Boom. The empress, the two of cups, the hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune. There you have it. And if you follow my channel, you know I have not used these cards in probably six months or more. Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment is coming. This plan is not going to work. Secret society, sacrifice, magic, scientists, whatever. And what people have been trying to prove is, oh, God is, oh, God is very real. And I feel like God is about to let everybody know just how real he really is. God's like, I guess I'm going to have to part the Red Sea again. Like, and I mean, everybody can have their own beliefs. Like, that's fine. I mean, some people, of course, they don't they don't like the Bible. They don't read the Bible. They don't understand. You know, I, I'm not a, a Bible told scripture quote person necessarily. But the, the power of God can't be denied. Because too many people have been trying to act as if they themselves are the most high. The guy's like, oh, really? Okay. Well, let me shut this down real quick. Because you're not the creator. I don't care what you've done. You are not the creator. Two of 
Two of Cups and Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress. These divine feminists are going into partnerships. With earth angels, galactic beings of some sort, will of fortune. And yeah, it says advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. And I keep saying that it's like a whole new breed or generation of, of people coming about. Trust me, the enemy knows about it because all of this has already been written anyway. So it's a bunch of lies being spread. People sharing a lot of fake news. Be careful of the distractions. Look at that. King of Wands, Four of Wands. Yeah. They're twin flame. For some of you, they're coming or they're already here. You, you can't outrun this assignment. <laughs> You guys, this was for serious for me. Um, it says, leap of faith. It's safe to make the move that you are considering. Yeah. Nine of the cups is here. You're healing. It says, preserves health and cures diseases. And for some of you, that's, that's part of it too. It's something about your genes that can for some of you that they're trying to get access to your your blood your dna your gene because it's, it can heal certain things it's something very 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 powerful about these shows me your your blood it's, it's about the blood your your dna your genes it can heal it can change the world these people know that but they want you to be blind to who you are your gifts and what you can can do and make you feel like you should be subservient to them when in actuality you're the one with the gift. Therefore, the one with the gift is the one with the power. They want you to think that they have the power. They don't. They don't even have the gift. They have a plan to steal the gift they don't have the gift. If they had it, they would need to steal it from somebody else. You see what I'm saying? It's a whole conspiracy that's actually very much real. <laughs> and the fake news, what they're telling us in the news that they're experimenting and doing, they're not telling you everything. It's just they, they never tell you the real truth. They tell you the fake news. Nothing in the news is the real truth. So the people who are connected, tapped in, seers, who can see and understand what lies are being spread, what you think they want for you? They want you out of here because they don't need you messing up the operation of their hidden agenda. And you have friends and family who are not like you. Trust me, they're pushing the same agenda. So I say this every year. Y'all be careful who y'all start going to... Um, you know, hanging around for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Because everybody's sitting at the table that you think is friends and family. Hell, some of them are, 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 are stand-ins. They're robots. They're demons. Something is not right about this energy at all. And I talk about all spiritual restraining orders. Don't be afraid to tell people, no, oh, you can't come around me. I'm not coming. You can't come around me because I'm telling you where some people's mind is. You got a lot of people walking around here now who their soul, they're empty vessels. And anything or any like anything can take over them at any time. 
to try to get to you. And it goes back to the beginning of where I said, it's like somebody is afraid to say, some of you, you need to stop being afraid to tell people that you cannot deal with them anymore. Because you see that body, but you don't understand that person, like what is controlling that body. 